my darlings, how are you doing today on this fine Saturday evening? I've got this grungy forest fairy elf thing going on for you today. So if you'd like to see how I created this mischievous creature, then stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, I've already primed my face and applied my ears, so I look like Bat Boy. Yay! After doing my brows off camera, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Blur Foundation and applying that all over my face. I also ended up applying the concealer as well. It's the Flex Concealer. It's really good. It makes me happy. So yeah. Now I'm taking the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer, applying it to the back of my hand before picking up some of the product on a stippling brush. This one's from Real Techniques, and I'm applying that to the perimeter of my face and shoulders and neck and chin just to bronze up the complexion. I'm also adding it a little bit to the bridge of my nose before going in with the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Cream Caramel and applying that again to the back of my hand before going in with the stippling brush and focusing that on the outer sides of the eye, the nose, and cheeks and lips a little bit. Now to contour, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao and I'm just applying that to the temples and the um, hollow areas of the cheeks and blending it out with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm setting everything off camera with the Milk Makeup Blur Powder before going in with two European body art colors in sand and ashes to create faux freckles. I have got a video, I'll have it linked in the corner to see how I do my fake freckles. Now for some green goodness, I'm taking the uh, alcohol activated makeup in Rancid and Bile, lovely names. But I'm taking a sea sponge and I'm just starting out with rancid and I am applying that all over the perimeter of my face and cheeks and if I get too much I just tap it out with my finger. Then I'm going in with the color bile which is a little bit darker and the same sponge and I'm just kind of putting that on the more contoured areas of my face before taking a stippling sponge and lightly going over you know, just the sides of my face to add some texture and give it kind of a mossy look. Now, starting on the eyes, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Bonus, rubbing that on my eyelid and blending it out with my finger, and adding that to the lower lash line and blending it out as well. This is the base for what I'm going to do next. So first, I'm taking the Gemini palette and the color Luna, which is a cream color, and I'm applying that to the upper crease and the lower lash line before going in with Mochi, which is like this baby puke pea green color. And I'm applying that into the crease of my eyes and the lower lash line as well. Now I'm taking Leo on my finger and patting that all over where we put down the bonus highlighter pencil, just to set it as a base. And then we're going in with a fluffy brush and then starting to smoke out that green color. You will need to blend it out. I'm also going to put that right on the inner corner of my brow bone and add it to my nose and the bottom part of my lip as well as the outer corners just to kind of tie the whole color scheme together on the face if that makes sense. You can leave that part out but I like to do it. Now going back on the eyes, I'm taking the Urban Decay Bondage Adhesive with my finger and dabbing that on the center part of the lid before going in with the Lit Cosmetics Liquid Metal in Addicted Silver Flake and adding that to the center of the upper and lower lid, if that makes sense. Now I'm going back in with the color Bonus from Milk Makeup and I'm just lining my eyes slightly before taking it point like and doing like pointillism on the outer corner to kind of give more texture and to kind of match it with the perimeter of my face. Now I'm taking just a tiny bit of Gemini and putting that right on the most or center part of the lid closest to the lashes. Now I'm taking Cupcake as a contour color. This was also in the Gemini palette and it's just a warm brown and I'm putting that on the nose to kind of shape it a little bit more and the cupid's bow and the nostrils. Yeah. So for highlighter, I'm using the Milk Makeup Mars Highlighter. It's the powder formula and it's really pretty. It's translucent, but it has a pink coppery shift and I like it. Now I'm going in with another highlighter pencil from Milk Makeup. This one is CEO. It's a dark matte brown and I'm just lining my waterline off camera. 
Now for the lips, I'm just, I put foundation over my lips and I'm just putting more Mars highlighter on there because I like the way it looks. And I want the focus to be on the eyes and the perimeter of the face. Now I'm just setting my whole face with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. And I'm taking just a tiny bit of Mayron's metallic powder in copper and applying that lightly with my finger over the brows to give some dimension. And since I wanted to brighten up the lids, I'm taking a little bit more of the Mars highlighter and a pointed brush and I'm just applying that to the inner corners before doing mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara in black. I did it off camera. And yeah! So this is the finished makeup look done. Now it's time for a wig. This is the Helios wig from Epic Cosplay Wigs in the color Cocoa Brown. I like it. I'm feeling myself. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. As always, I list all the detail and information in the description box below as well as on my blog at www.jchaos.com. If you do recreate this look, be sure to use the hashtag and tag me on Instagram. I'm also at OJChaos. You can find me everything at OJChaos. But anyway, yeah. So I really, really like this makeup look. Uh, the dress, I didn't get a good shot of the dress, but it, I'll have it linked in the description box below so you can see it. Oh, and by the way, I was the daily winner for the Mayron Makeup 31 Days of Halloween contest. I'm one of the finalists for it, so uh, more on that later. But yeah, I'm super excited and I hope you're having an awesome day and evening and whatever. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, please. Know that I think you are awesome and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome because you, yeah, you're awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm.